24 hours after 43-year-old Fayaz Usmani died in police custody in Mumbai during the course of the investigation and the interrogation, questions are being raised about profiling measures adopted by the Mumbai police. Though the police have denied any third degree on him, the death of an innocent man has ended up taking the focus away from the main investigation and adding fodder to those looking for an opportunity to brainwash the innocent. Fayyad Usmani was buried today, nearly 24 hours after he died while in police custody. Fayyad Usmani was detained on Saturday because his brother happens to be an accused in the Gujarat Blast case. But 24 hours later, the family was informed he had died. If Fayaz died a natural death, then why the CID probe? On what basis did the police claim that Fayaz had a history of hypertension when the family claims there is none? Why did the police not inform Fayaz's family on time when he took ill under their custody? And lastly, if Fayaz was such an important suspect, why was there no police presence at the Stein Hospital when the family reached Fayaz? There are several questions that apart. Brain hemorrhage is being cited as the main reason for Fayaz's death. It happens as a reaction to a sudden shock. Will the police explain all of this? What perhaps makes the position of the Mumbai police more awkward is the stand that nothing was amiss while Usmani was in their custody. The policemen, they were sent to his home to inform their family so that they could come and see him also. There was no time delay as such. Our first priority was to give him uh, possible medical assistance. But this man is dead. If the post-mortem reports is to be believed, he possibly could have died of fear or shock. But for this family, the truth is simple. He was innocent and he died with a reason. And the fact is that no one is willing to apologize. And for a government that jumps into damage control mode, here is another instance where those who want to divide can use this to their advantage. For a police force already under attack for failing to ensure that the city is safe, this death of an innocent man in their custody comes as another blot on their flagging image. With Hardeep Dugal, Vikram Savan, Times Now.